something good, hey, go for it. If somebody's going to give you something free, it's a value, go for it. Take it. Jump on the opportunity. Are you guys cool with what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, actually. Oh, that's just, come on, where's the aww? Come on, guys. I have a baby picture of Krishna, He's Lord. so cute. That's what I wanted to hear. Yes. That's uh, Sandana Gobalan. So I just wanted to put it as a translation. Sandana Gopalan. Sandana means a baby. Gopalan is Krishna. So that's the baby Krishna. Okay? So that's a baby picture of Krishna. We all have our baby pictures. That's how baby Krishna. I don't think he was that small enough to fit on a leaf. But that's just the picture there. No, me actually. Small enough. What happens at the time of inhalation? How is the other going to end, do you think? Have you watched the movie 2012? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the huge water, right? Yeah. Like that, the whole world is submerged in the water. At that time, the Krishna takes a form of a small baby and uh, he puts the element. Huh? Banyan tree. Banyan tree, yeah. So when the Banyan tree leaves, he'll uh, float on that ocean, cosmic ocean, as a small child. Thank you, Doctor. So, um, next thing we're going to learn. It's very similar to that we're learning in uh, Thirukkural. Pretty much all the Thirukkural you've learned, uh, how many, what, six weeks, eight weeks? I've summarized it in one, one uh, uh, sloga from the Bhagavad Gita. So can you pass the book on to somebody else? Okay, so she kind of chose my volunteer. Text 10, so same. Click a few pages, you'll see text 10. Okay, let's go. Can you read some attachment? Your anger, be included and included in me. From taking the beauty and me, many, many persons in the past become purified by knowledge of me, and thus they all attain some sense of love for me. For me, right? For me. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know if, how many of you guys noticed when I said me, I kept saying me, 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 guys, that's God. We say we take, uh, so we're being uh, free from attachment. What's attachment? Yes. Very good. So this is my clothes. This is my slide. That's my car. This is my education. This is my house. Don't you dare touch my house. Don't you dare do anything to my house. That's attachment. You're so attached in what you own. Why are you pointing at? No. No, this is not my house. I'm just giving you an example. This is the God's house. If you're poking the God's house, he's your friend. He's going to be very upset with you. Exactly. Right? You remember that from last week? Okay. So that is attachment. Next, fear. Why do we need to fear? Do we need to fear anything? Do we need to fear monsters? Do we need to be afraid of heights? Do we need to be afraid of, afraid of snakes? Do we need to be afraid of anything? Why not? Afraid of pain? Yeah. See, well, you don't need to fear anything because last week, what did I teach you? I taught you God is your friend. You have to be his friend and his devotee, right? So if you're his friend and you have full faith in your friend, and you have full faith in God, do you need to be afraid of anything? So you don't need to be afraid of anything. Anger. We've been talking about this all out in Tirukkural, guys. Anger. You know what you can get from reducing anger. Lo and behold, Krishna says the same thing. Anger. Do we need to... Uh, so should... Does that give you more uh, motivation, inspiration to reduce your anger? Or are you guys still going to try to get angry as much as possible? No. Now, I remember those two, when this first topic came up. They told me it's impossible to reduce your anger. I was standing right there. Yeah. I was standing right there and I heard you, but since <laughs> my brother was teaching, since Darshan was teaching, I did not want to interfere in that class. But you were getting angry at L2, so it's impossible. No, I'm getting angry. Yeah, you screamed at him. <laughs> when did I scream at him? For not wearing yeah. uniform, that's... Did that, does that mean? Did I scream at him? What did I told him? I said, okay, I asked, I asked what the reason was, what the problem was, what he's going to do to fix the problem, and I said, go down and sit down, right? Anger management is over there. <laughs> Me, I don't have anger issues. <laughs> I told him, you can come down and sit down. But right? it's impossible to know when you get angry. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm getting angry or not. Like, I what I would encourage you to do is... Uh, it's okay to get angry. But first thing is recognize I'm getting angry. 
the, and find out the reason why I'm angry <laughs> and deal with the anger in a healthy way. That's the anger management. Yes, and what I would strongly recommend you to do, or uh, at least pay attention to whoever is teaching Rama, because uh, what happened to Rama, uh, just a quick story here. Night before, his dad says, I'm going to give you my kingdom. You're going to ru rule this, uh, the country here. The early morning, he says, I'm sorry, I changed my mind. You're not getting anything. At that point, if I said any of that to you, I say, I'm making you the prime minister today. Next day, I said, no, sorry, I changed my mind. Not only am I not giving that to you, I'm making you go live in the forest for 14 years. Would you get angry? Yes. What did Rama do? He said, okay, that's cool. And he was an incarnation of God. If God can take that amongst himself, what's to stop us, right? Why are we getting angry? What's there, like, you know, what did we come with? We came with nothing. That's the God. He came with everything. He has everything. He's, everything is God. And yet he's willing to go live in a forest for 14 years just because his parents said so. Is it, don't you think we can do something to curb our anger? Yes? So just think about that story. You know, if God himself does not need to get angry when he's down on earth, when a total injustice happened to him in my view, why do we need, like, we do need to get angry. Of course there's healthy anger and that's, uh, it should be encouraged. But for something with regards to attachment, we shouldn't get angry because we're attached to something. Somebody, you know, uh, did something to your clothes or they ripped it or something. Just say, okay, that's good. Just make sure it doesn't happen. Speak to them. There's a lot of uh, conflict resolution methods which does not include violence, right? And those are probably the best ones. And sometimes, unfortunately, we are forced to use violence, but uh, those are very rare situations. And I don't think you'll be coming by any of those very uh, shortly or soon. Cool? All right. So we're taking, we're free from attachment. We're free from fear, uh, attachment, fear, and anger. Next part, he's saying, fully absorbed in me. Me is the Lord. So you, let's go to the next slide. Actually, this one takes, so free from attachment, fear, and anger. Absorbed in the Lord. What does that mean? Does that mean you come from home, uh, school, you do your homework? You go sit in your prayer room and you start doing your chants and your pujas and you start reading the scripture. Is that what the Lord is saying you're attached to me? So what, what do you think he's saying? Yes, yeah, so being his friend, first point. Yes? Yes. So they're doing your daily prayers. But that doesn't mean that, you know, from 3 to 9 p.m. or 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. when you come from school, you're just sitting, your, uh, sitting in your prayer rooms and doing your prayers. What else? does he mean when you're uh, absorbed in the Lord? Yes, so devotional service. What else does he say? What's one of the first things I taught you guys? Duties, do your duties. Just do it with um, in, in a manner that you're uh, always thinking about God. When you're opening the door, say Shiva or Rama or Krishna. When you're sitting down, say Shiva, Rama or Krishna. When you're drinking water, say Shiva or Krishna, water, Rama, whatever, whoever you pray to. Right, not just Shiva, Krishna, Krishna, and Rama, because I'm telling you, but whoever that appeals to you, and what one person appeals to one person does not appeal to another person. So you choose who appeals to you, and you uh, dedicate everything to the Lord that you're doing, and that means you can go out and have fun. You can, uh, you know, play games, uh, go shopping, do what you need to. Just remember, keep God in the back of your mind when you when you are doing that. So what shouldn't you be absorbed into? So we know you should be absorbed into the God. What shouldn't you be absorbed into? Anger. Yes. But why do you get, why? You get anger, it's actually, uh, it's a circle. Because you get anger because you're absorbed into other things and not God. When you're uh, absorbed in God, that should actually help you reduce your anger. And you ask the God to, uh, to lower and prevent anger and make you a more calmer, peaceful person. What, you, what, what shouldn't you be absorbed into in your day-to-day -day life? Like what you're absorbed to now? <laughs> How many people do you murder? <laughs> okay, so that, that's just, that's not, I'm not going to take that as a serious comment. Yes? Fear. Fear, okay. Other than, you know, what I just taught you right now, what are you absorbed into? Let me give you one. TV and movies. You guys come home from school, throw your bag on the, on the floor or in a corner somewhere, I know it because I did it. And you sit in front of the TV and you go, Ch and that's it. You just sit there and you watch like you're glued and you're probably too lazy. And when the commercial comes, you run to the washroom. The commercial comes, you run and grab a snack. 
<laughs> right? If that's being absorbed in TV, you shouldn't be, yes. Exactly, video games. I'll put social media next, okay. But that doesn't mean that's the right answer. Video games is right too. Social media, which is Facebook, Twitter, MSN, all that stuff. I mean, all of this, yes, it's needed. TV is needed, movies is needed. Social media is needed, but don't be absorbed in it. Be absorbed, do all that, think about the God, right? Exactly, so if you're on Facebook, how do you think about the God? Put your profile picture as Krishna and Arjuna, so now that everybody else sees it, everybody else is blessed with that. Believe it or not, believe it or not, that first uh, picture that I put up with Krishna and Arjuna is still my Facebook profile picture. And that's how long it's been, and I still haven't changed it down. So do yourself some favor, do your friends some favor. Let them know what the, what they can uh, achieve, what what's in that great book, right? So uh, social media and uh, possessions, so attachment, fear. So possessions, don't be attached in your iPods, your gizmos, your computer, your whatever else you guys have, your cell phones. Don't be attached in your hobbies. Hobbies, I put hobbies because um, People are so attached to reading, it's just like watch sitting in front of a TV. They just sit and they just read and read and read. And that they don't care what's happening, they don't go outside, or you know, they, they're so into their stamp collection, they're so into whatever they're into, and they're what and that just means that they're not into God. Right? Reading is good. I strongly I encourage it. What's funny about that? Yes. So do all that. I mean I get to the gym, right? I work out. But that doesn't mean that's what I'm, I'm thinking about. When I'm running, guess what do I say? Why would I say Archana? Archana's not God. Krishna, Shiva, Shiva. Yes. So I say something along those lines. I say Rama. So uh, it's just kind of obvious because I always bring Rama into whatever I'm saying. All right. So that's actually it. No, actually, no. I have one more. How are we doing in terms of time? Do we have anything else in the store? Yeah, you can. All right, so we're, oh, so we're, oh no, that's it. Oh, I'm just recapping, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, I forgot what I, how I put it up. So again, just to recap, we are, let me go back to my slide, being freed from attachment, fear, anger, fully absorbed in me, me, very important, me, not, not anything else but me as in any of the gods we have, not the saints, don't be absorbed in, even in the saints, even though they are saints, you should be absorbed in God because they were absorbed in God. Clear? Taking refuge in me. So accept what God gives you as whether it be good or bad, as his prasadam. Take it, say, you know what, God, if this is what you want to give me, I will accept it and I will I will do my best with it and I will show you that I can uh, I can man uh, conquer whatever I'm doing. Many, many persons in the past became purified by knowledge of me. This knowledge of me is what we're giving you through this uh, Bhagavad Gita and various other scriptures and talking about the incarnations. Uh, and attain transcendental knowledge, uh, love for me. So that's what I'm trying to infuse here. I'm trying to get you to uh, have, have faith in God and have uh, love for God. All right? That's it. That's it for this week. Because I have the slide. Yes, any questions? What time is it? No, that's not the right question. Unfortunately, it's too late. Yeah, do my first year. Okay. One, that's the first thing in public speaking. Okay? You have to look like you know what you're talking about. And to do that, you look at everybody. Because they don't know what they're what you're talking about, right? Like, it's actually the meaning for each word. Then after, this is the explanation. For, so then it, you guys have 